Earlier this year, I was contacted by a man named Yuri, who was searching for a piece of lost media. This particular piece of lost media wasn't a song, wasn't a game or an anime or anything like that. Rather, it was for a video known as Chech Clear. Do not Google Chech Clear until I elaborate. You see, Chech Clear is notorious for being one of the first beheading videos online, as well as one of the most brutal. A 15 second version of this clip can still be found, however, it's said that many years ago, a 5 minute version existed. The disappearance of this 5 minute version is something that's shrouded in mystery and controversy. So for today's episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at Chech Clear. I know that, like me, you probably spend a lot of your time in front of screens all day long. Playing video games, browsing stuff online, watching my videos, or just sitting around at work. And the thing is, all these screens emit blue light which can cause eye strain, itchy eyes, headaches, and completely throw off your sleep schedule. I mean, my sleep schedule's been all over the place since I got back home from tour and I have a few ideas about why that might be. GMG Performance Eyeglasses are the solution. They act as a shield against the blue light and help reduce your eye strain and preserve the quality of your sleep. Like, I'm looking at a screen right now as I record this, and I put the glasses on, I could feel all this tension around my eyes that I normally wouldn't even realize was there until it went away. It just goes away when I put the glasses on. For Black Friday week, GMG is offering a huge 50% discount. That's half off your eyeglasses. It's their best offer of the year, and it ends on November 29th at 11.59pm Pacific Time. So don't miss it, just click the first link in the description. For people who grew up during a certain period of time online, looking at gore, particularly beheading videos, was looked at as almost kind of a rite of passage. And of all the violence I've seen online on websites like Ogrish, Best Gore, Live Leak, or for that matter, the countless other websites that came and went. There's only really a small handful of videos that really vividly stayed with me on my memories throughout the years. And one that stands out is one of the first ones that I ever saw. You got a man on the ground with a boot on his head. Very quickly, a knife gets inserted into the side of his neck and cuts forward through the front of it. And as the knife cuts through the man's windpipe, you can hear the sound of air whistling through it. Oh. It's a sound that haunts me to this day, and if you've seen this same video, it's probably one that haunts you too. And until Yuri contacted me about this video, I didn't even know that there was a name for it, or that it was as infamous as it actually is. The video called Chech Clear. As Yuri described Chech Clear to me, I had to ask him, Wait, is this the one where after the guy gets beheaded you can hear wind coming through his throat? That's the one. I never thought I'd see or hear about this video ever again. In fact, not too long before Yuri had contacted me, I was actually trying to find it again myself just to see if it was as bad as I remembered, and I couldn't find it. As it turns out, Yuri informed me that the 15 second clip can actually be viewed on YouTube as part of a Russian documentary covering the atrocities of the conflicts between Russia and Chechen rebels. The thing is though, this clip, it's short. It's grainy and 15 seconds long, and in the middle of the beheading there's a jump cut when all of a sudden his head's not on anymore. And if you search for this clip, you're just going to find the edited version from this documentary. Just by looking at the clip, you can tell that there's more to the video than the 15 seconds we actually see. And according to Yuri, there was actually a full 5 minute long clip. Not just including what we missed during the jump cut, but several minutes beforehand of the victim being beaten and berated and embarrassed. It turns out that a lot of people, especially recently, have been searching for this notorious extended cut. But the search for it can actually get really confusing. You see, throughout the first and second Chechen war, many, many execution videos were made. Russian soldiers would find these tapes left behind, presumably as an intimidation tactic. But then you know these tapes make it out into the rest of the world, they get sold on the black market as snuff films, and eventually through that, they make their way online. This particular clip takes place in 1996 during the first Chechen conflict. Afterwards, it finds its way into file sharing services, it's getting spread through emails, and of course it winds up places like Ogres.com and Lively. But you wind up with a situation now where you have this thing from Russia that winds up in the English-speaking world, and you have people who don't speak Russian trying to make sense of it, trying to figure out where the pieces fit. And an environment like that is ripe for confusion and misinformation to spread. And as such, a lot of these videos get confused with each other. 
and they get mislabeled as various events that happened at the time. For example, one of the most common stories that this gets mixed up with is the story of Yevgeny Rodionov. So Yevgeny Rodionov was a 19-year-old soldier who was executed after several months of being tortured in 1996 during the First Chechen War. Reportedly, he was offered to have his life spared if he renounced Christianity and converted to Islam, but he refused. He wouldn't even remove his cross, leading to his execution. The story of his death led to a push to venerate Yevgeny as a new martyr, but the Russian Orthodox Church made the controversial decision to deny this due to a lack of evidence of the story and an unwillingness to canonize new martyrs. And where this ties in is one of the most popular supposed explanations for Chechklir is that the victim is Yevgeny. However, this does not appear to be a case as by all accounts Yevgeny's death was not recorded. I think it's possible that perhaps Yevgeny's popularity led to him being used to promote either this film or any number of the snuff films that were circulating at the time. Or perhaps it's just the case of someone hearing Yevgeny's story and assuming that's him. Another story claims that this is the work of a Chechen rebel named Salaudin Timirbulatov, nicknamed Tractoris or the Tractor Driver. The oldest version of this account that I can find can be traced back to a user of the Ogrish forums named Hugh G. Rection in 2004. Although this has been mentioned in passing before, I thought I'd take this opportunity to restate that the Chechen guerrilla featured cutting the head off the Russian soldier in the infamous Chechklir clip is named Salautdin Temir Bulatov. The Chechklir clip is one of three executions carried out on the same day by Temir Bulatov. Russian secret services have a videotape filming the questioning of four Russian servicemen outside the town of Komsolsk... Kom... Komsomolskoye on April 12th, 1996. Timur Bulatov himself shot two of them and then cut the throat of the third serviceman, an unarmed 18-year-old conscript to the Russian army. And Timur Bulatov would indeed be convicted due to footage from 1996. However, it's unclear if that video was Chechklir or if it was another clip from that time. But most interestingly, Huge Erection speaks of a longer version of Chechklir. According to Russia's Channel 2, the clip was bought in September 1999 by the Russian media. Channel 2 was the only station to air this clip in its entirety. That's right, a full-ass gore video on TV. The full video begins with a bearded Chechen gorilla, Temer Bulatov, kneeling on the back of a panicked 18-year-old Russian soldier. There then follows the bloody action that we see in our clip. The grotesque video ends with Timur Bulatov holding the severed head up to the camera, laughing. And thus, the uncut version of Chechklir becomes legend. Granted, this description is a bit different from the one that I've heard, but at this point, nobody has any extended version of it. Enter! A live leak user named Warlord47. Warlord47 was a Russian man, by some accounts a Russian soldier, who joined Live Leak in July of 2007. Within a month, he began digitizing his personal collection of VHS snuff films from the Chechen conflict and uploading them to Live Leak. One such tape being another incident that's often confused with Chechklir. The execution of six Russian conscripts in Dagestan, aka the Tukchar massacre. He uploads the video in five parts, and here's the thing. This footage has been seen online before, but it's never been seen in this high quality. A YouTube video by Joshua Kane compares the quality of Warlord 47's videos with the previously available versions, and the jump is massive. This guy was definitely the real deal. So when in the descriptions of these videos, Warlord 47 claims to have the full version of Chechklir, that's kind of a big deal. But of course, there's a problem. Although all of this message board discourse is, as far as I know, lost to time, according to Joshua Kane's video, based on his own memories, Warlord47 was a little ass-blasted that he wasn't getting the respect that he thought he deserved. Having taken the time to sit there and digitize his VHS snuff films, upload them to live link, surely he deserved more kudos. But the story as it goes is that eventually, despite the lack of respect, he does upload the full clip to Live Leak, only for it to get taken down within hours due to a copyright issue. An archive of a thread on the Live Leak forums from January 28, 2008 allegedly documents the day this happens. Why was my Chechnya video deleted? Why was this video deleted? There's absolutely no reason for that video to be deleted. Copyright violations? Who are you trying to lie to? And then people ask me, why don't I upload anything on here anymore? 
when you have mods that abuse their powers, delete random media for no reason, it just isn't worth the effort. I was going to upload a few more videos aside from Chech Clear, but that won't ever be happening on here or Ogrish. Pathetic. Hayden Hewitt, the only publicly known founding member of LiveLeak, would respond. He explains that a TV production company claimed to have the copyright for the clip, and due to the DMCA working the way it does, he must comply until the situation is resolved. To which, of course, Warlord is not happy. This video is not copyrighted by anyone, because there is no way in hell you can copyright something like this. The only person that could possibly copyright this video was the cameraman, and he's long ago six feet under. And you have to understand, these days, you as a YouTube viewer, you've definitely seen a lot of creators that you watch have to deal with the ridiculousness that is DMCA law. I imagine you're somewhat familiar with how strict it is and how easy it is to exploit. But people weren't as familiar with it back then. So you've got some people who to this day think Hayden was lying for some reason, just holding onto it for his own private nefarious purposes. But personally, I think it's really safe to say that they did legitimately receive a DMCA claim. And the thing about DMCA claims, even if you suspect that it's a bullshit claim, if you do not comply, you open yourself up to massive lawsuits. That being said, it's very possible that maybe this claim wasn't from the actual TV company. Perhaps someone was doing a little trolling. Warlord47, after all, had at this point made it known that he took these things very seriously. He was a man to be respected. In other words, the exact type of person that someone might want to wind up for shits and giggles. But that's just complete speculation on my part. In any case, Warlord calls the other users of LiveLeak and Ogrish fools, says he's never posting on the site again, and I guess that's where the trail ends, right? Well, I did notice two pretty interesting things on the Internet Archive. The thing is, the video that got DMCA'd in this thread, the one that Warlord links at the very beginning, by going through the Internet Archive, I saw that it actually did get restored in 2009. And it was not Chech Clear. This video was part one of the Tukchar Massacre. That being said, something else that I noticed was, despite his threats to never post on Ogrish or LiveLeak again, Warlord47 would resume posting on LiveLeak two months later, in March of 2008. However, none of the four videos he posted in 2008 appeared to be Chech Clear either. So does that mean that, despite the rumors, he never actually uploaded the full Chech Clear video to begin with? I noticed something else when I was re-watching Joshua Kane's video. I noticed that in the screenshots he shows from a now lost Ogres thread, the URL the people are purporting to be the deleted live leak post of the full Chech Clear is a different URL from the one in the copyright thread. So I typed out that URL in the Internet Archive, and it turns out it was deleted due to a terms of service violation in 2009. But you go back to 2008, and there's something there. You can't see what it is because you need to log in so the Internet Archive can't archive things behind the login screen. There's something there. So I thought that was the big break, until I noticed something else. The thing about that link, so we go back to 2008 and there's something there, right? But it turns out it's archived all the way back to 2006. In other words, a year before Warlord47 had ever made his account. And whatever it was there, was sitting there for at least two years before it was deleted. If it's that infamous of a video and it's up there for that long, surely someone would have backed that up. Surely it would just be all over the place to find immediately. In other words, I don't think that other link was Chech Clear either. So at this point, if the five minute long version of Chech Clear is a thing that really ever existed, I have my doubts that it ever actually found its way online. I also think it's very possible that the extended version of Chech Clear might have been another case of people mixing up multiple incidents in Chechnya. Or maybe it really is out there, just sitting on some old hard drive somewhere. Or hanging on for dear life on an old VHS tape on a shelf somewhere in Russia. So after recording the bulk of this video, I actually had a chance to speak to Hayden Hewitt about this situation, and it seems like he came to a lot of the same conclusions that I did. Here's what he had to say. Hiya mate, I've no idea about a DMCA takedown for any jihadist clip ever. The longer version of Chech Clear is a Bigfoot, really. I've heard tales, heard from someone who claimed to have it, but through Ogrish and LiveLeak it never came up. 
I'm sure a longer version existed, but I have an inkling it died with the video camera that filmed it given the clip came out back in the days when all clips online were very short. Sometimes people got it mixed up with another clip, which I think was called OFEX, but the two weren't related in any way other than it was Chechens killing Russian soldiers. I'd love to know where the idea came from about the DMCA, there are some funny folks on the internet. He also noted though that 2008 is a long time ago, so he checked in with one of the other staff members from back in the days who did remember the claim. You're kind of vaguely in luck, just had a message back. One series he uploaded included parts from a TV documentary about a massacre of Russian troops called the Dagestan Massacre, which might explain the more graphic vids in his series remaining. I remember that series of videos being truly horrific. And his final thoughts on the matter? The only thing I know for sure is that a longer Chech Clear didn't ever show up. Anyway, that's the story of Chech Clear. If you like this video, check out my video about the time Ogrish helped put a cat killer behind bars. I'm out.